Air Force Colonel Bruce Hollywood always knew he'd been adopted. His Asian features clearly didn't come from his parents, who were of European descent. And in fact, his parents had always been upfront with him about having adopted him back in the 1960s in Japan. But despite encouragement from his adoptive mother, he had never felt the desire to meet his biological parents. That all changed after one event in his mid-40ES, an event which would trigger a globe-crossing search and lead to discoveries he'd never dare to imagine. Our story has a frightening beginning, but before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. One early morning in 2005, Air Force Colonel Bruce Hollywood was getting out of his car in the Pentagon parking lot, like he did every morning. Suddenly, he felt a sharp pain in his chest and fell to the ground. As he lay on the ambulance's stretcher, he thought, this is where it ends. During his recovery, he realized he had two regrets in life. The first was that he wouldn't be able to help his son get into college. And the second was that he never made the effort to speak to and thank the Japanese woman who gave birth to him. Colonel Bruce Hollywood had been adopted as a baby by an American couple stationed in Japan. The two believed they could offer him a better life than his mother would have been able to. Before his heart attack, Bruce said he never felt like something was missing. His parents were amazing, and he never felt like he needed to reflect on his adoption. He always knew he was adopted because he had Asian features and his father was an Irishman and his mother was a Norwegian lady. The adoption was no secret to him. After recovering from his heart attack, Bruce set out to find his birth mother. He reached out to the Japanese embassy and even hired a private detective, but his search was unsuccessful. Just as he was ready to give up, a chance encounter at an airport bar would change everything. While waiting for his flight, he struck up a conversation with Admiral Harry Harris, who happened to have a Japanese mother. The two quickly realized they had a lot in common, and Bruce shared his desire to find his birth mother. To his surprise, Admiral Harris said he could help. Ten days later, Bruce received a phone call from the Japanese embassy telling him they had found his mother. Excited, Bruce wanted to write a letter to express his happiness and gratitude. But the embassy employee said there wouldn't be a letter. Instead, his mother would call him directly, despite her limited English. When the call came, Bruce's mother cried as he spoke to her through an interpreter. It was an emotional conversation that revealed the depth of their connection. Bruce traveled to Japan to meet his birth mother, and he discovered the truth about his birth and adoption. His mother, Nobu, had gotten pregnant with him after a romance with an American soldier. The soldier had promised to marry her, but he was deployed back to the U.S. before their paperwork went through. When he finally called months later, Nobu didn't trust him and refused to take the call. Nobu's father offered to support her, but she made the difficult decision to give Bruce up for adoption. During his visits to Japan over the next three years, Bruce and Nobu developed a close relationship. Nobu even visited Bruce in Washington, and they both made efforts to learn each other's languages. Nobu had named her restaurant Bruce after her son, based on the name given to him by his adoptive parents. Their reunion had a profound impact on Bruce, who finally embraced his Japanese-American heritage. Bruce's adoptive parents had given him a photo of Nobu before they returned to America, and she had kept it all those years. It was clear that Nobu had never forgotten and had always hoped for their reunion. While the search for his birth mother had been successful, Bruce's biological father remained a mystery. Nobu had given Bruce a note with his father's name, Louis Bazaar. Curiosity led Bruce to search for his father, and through DNA testing and online platforms, he discovered his half-brother, Louis Bazaar Jr. Bruce, reached out to Lewis, and they soon realized the connection between their parents. It turned out that Bruce's father had been stationed in Japan, where he and Nobu had fallen in love. However, they were separated when Lewis Sr. was ordered to return to the U.S. After his return, he promised to call Nobu, but never did. The timing, coupled with Nobu's distrust, led her to believe Lewis couldn't be trusted. Bruce and Lewis agreed to be brothers, bringing closure to their family's complex and intertwining story. Finding his birth mother and discovering his family's past had a profound impact on Bruce. It gave him a newfound sense of identity as a Japanese American. Also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to G's inspired by real life stories every day now back to the story. Bruce became actively involved in the Japanese American community, serving on boards and advocating for his heritage. The reunion also brought closure to unanswered questions and gave him a sense of peace. 
The story of Colonel Bruce Hollywood's search for his birth mother is truly remarkable. It shows the power of determination and the incredible connections we can make when we least expect it. And for Bruce, his journey brought him a sense of belonging and pride in his heritage.